Hello, I am Yuri Z. I'm an artist based in Paris. I make uh, paintings, video art, installations. I love coming back to colorful Colorado where I've got family roots and uh, get a lot of inspiration from the nature and the mountains here. The occasion I'm back for is the Tales of Water exhibition here at Sky Gallery. Thank you so much to Sky and to Ether Arts Project for organizing this show. And also thanks to Core Aspen and Bob Chase and DJ Watkins for providing support that makes it possible even to be here right now making art in these crazy times. Personally, I've always been inspired by water and used it as a muse in my work. Watching water flow gracefully through any terrain and change states from solid to liquid to gas and so on. It's easy to think about the Adon Vital, the life energy that flows through everything, connects everything. We're immersed in this society where everything revolves around digital communications and complex language and information, but I never want to lose sight of the fact we're still a part of nature. And we often get stuck in staring at a shiny surface like a telephone or a TV screen, like the surface of the pond where Narcissus got stuck staring at his own reflection. But we all have to fight the temptation of narcissism and look through the surface. The works I've created for Tales of Water are mostly oil paintings on discarded microchips and circuit boards. One of my new works is um, a painting of a coral reef on a circuit board. And, uh, you know, the reef biomes are increasingly threatened by global warming and acidification and our heavy metal high-powered gadgets, electronic waste and mercury and all this is partly to blame. But it's not all negative. I mean, if we use our new technology to further the research and actually unify our conservation efforts. You know, we could save many animals, plants, and entire ecosystems. So technology doesn't have to be the devil in this situation. And, uh, and reef life is also a great metaphor for life in perfect harmony. It's, it's still wild and crazy and colorful. And balance doesn't mean uh, boring. So yeah, here's a painting of jellyfish. And, you know, jellyfish are one of the few animals that will actually benefit from global warming. You know, there's always somebody who gains from destruction. I like to do protest paintings on microchips. This is a painting of a climate march it's called Oceans Are Rising, So Are We. You can see one of the signs is rising with the ocean, climate action. The climate march was scheduled for the same day that the show is scheduled to open to the public. But of course, all that was canceled due to epidemic. So especially to have this work in the show, we can uh, protest uh, you know, virtually. And that's part of the theme of these works is that these little, uh, you know, if we can't get out there in the streets, we can get out there in the circuits and out there on the internet and, and can connect using our technology to, to get our voice heard and, and to, to, you know, Strength in numbers, even if we can't physically be in the same place at the same time. Mermod is, a, is another painting on a circuit board with oil painting and also a little wooden tail which I carved. And so basically, you know, it's a, it's a mermaid or a siren and uh, she's crossing her fingers and perhaps she's just, you know, another endangered species and hoping she's going to survive the Anthropocene. Or maybe she's an example of human posterity after everything floods and we're forced to return to the sea, a post-human, post-digital survivor. You know, the sirens of mythology also gave cryptic messages to the sailors. They were kind of oracles hinting to get the big picture, the things we still struggle to understand. In these times of quarantine, I think it's even more important to think about ways to stay unified as a society which finds a balance with nature. So we are all just drops in the ocean, but every drop creates ripples that affect everything else. And we are all connected. Even if we're only connected by this internet connection that helps me speak with you now. And um, anyway, I send my best regards and look forward to hearing from any of you and looking forward to the things you create in these crazy times.